How you doing, Bangor? It's Zach Hocamp and David Furtado here with you here at Bangor Comic and Toy Convention. And geez, we just walked in. The event just started about a half hour ago, and already people are piling in. Absolutely. People have been piling in since 10 o'clock when it opened, and it's been a steady stream of people in. We've seen many characters to come from Star Wars, Pokemon, a whole bunch of slew of things. I'm here at Comic-Con with a lovely character from the Pokemon franchise, Pikachu. Pikachu, you having fun here today? I'm going to take that as a yes. As you walk in, you're going to see Pikachu first here at Comic-Con, and it's a great way to start the day. Rob from Extra Life, which is a nonprofit organization that is operating here at the Bangor Comic Toy Con. How you doing, Rob? Doing great. How you doing? So there's not a lot of people who uh, listen to the station who would know what Extra Life is. Could you uh, just give us a little insight and let us know what you guys are all about? Yeah, sure. Uh, Extra Life is a nonprofit charity, like you said. Uh, they work with the Children's Miracle Network, which is a group of hospitals all across the U.S. Um, specifically providing support for terminally ill children. Extra Life basically. Um, it's a group of gamers, uh, video gamers and board gamers. We, we play games to raise money to give these hospitals to help these kids. You said it was extralife.org that anybody yep. can go on and Absolutely. sign up for this? Yep. And so this is something that's literally open to everybody, guys. It, it's really just having fun for a good cause. It is. Yep. That's the bottom line. So, Rob, seriously, thank you so much for being here no live on WHSN. I'm Corey uh, Nicholson. I'm from Auburn, Maine, uh, with the Maine Ghostbusters. We're here today at Bangor Comic Toy Con to... Uh, show off our equipment and hopefully raise some money for charity. I love being anywhere uh, Star Trek fans are. They're among the best. The best of the best. My name is Nick Passanen. I'm actually from North originally. I've lived in Bangalore for about 10 years. Uh, my name is Abby Lusk. I'm from Winterport and I am here as Kylo Ren. He's a character who has a lot of depth to him. Um, a lot of, you know, stuff going on underneath the surface so it was He's an interesting character. I came as uh, kind of a combination of the Heath Ledger slash the new Joker from Suicide Squad. Um, and the reason I chose it is because the Joker's been my favorite fictional character since I was like seven or eight years old. I'm standing next to probably one of the most impressive cosplays I've seen all day. I'm standing here with Jeff of the Florian Mercs. Jeff, how are you enjoying the con so far? Oh, it's great. All right, so I'm... This is absolutely unbelievable. You got this Boba Fett type armor. Can you explain how long did this take you to do? Uh, from conception to completion, about a year. Oh uh, but it's been another four years of upgrades and tweaking. Yeah. Uh, so uh, can you tell us a little bit about the material, like how you went about doing this? Uh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the main plates are made out of a, a plastic material called Sintra. Uh, anybody out there who's interested in costuming, cosplay, this is great stuff for armor. It's durable. It's really user-friendly. takes glue and paint beautifully. Awesome. So, obviously, big, huge Star Wars fan, so you decided to become part of the Mandalorian Mercs. No, not really. Nah, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, again, do you, obviously, with a costume this size, you must get a lot of pictures taken with you uh, all yeah, the time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's three steps pose, three steps pose, <laughs> but you know, it comes with the territory. Did they work for you? Did you see out of them? When I was your age, we didn't have eyes. This is something very special to me because I am standing next to somebody who I used to watch as a kid all the time. You used to watch me through the windows. Yeah, I'm That's kind of creepy when you say it like that. Hey, not that kind of way. I used to watch you on TV. Okay, you need to say that first. You say, while you were on TV, I would watch. Don't start off with, I would watch. All right, calm down. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing next to Jason Narby, famous for playing Skull on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Hello. Jason, how are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Oh, I man. love Bangor. <laughs> how, how are you enjoying the con so far? Are you having fun so far? We're enjoying it. We're loving it. Um, it's, it, it is surprisingly big. Yeah. It is surprisingly lively. And everyone in Maine is awesome. My brother-in-law and sister-in-law used to live in Maine. They lived down in Augusta for about a year. And they're like, I love Maine. They're like, Maine is unlike any place you've ever known. It is both the coldest and warmest people you will ever meet in the world. Is that, am I right about this? Did you know that we have flip-flops with ice skates on them? No, I did not know. <laughs> flip-flops with ice skates. Being a guy who was in the original cast of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers has to have a huge following, as you can see here today. What is that like, being able to come to a convention and seeing all these people who are dressed up like the Power Rangers, possibly dressed up 
like you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah. got to be crazy. I can definitely imagine that's something that is not the norm at all. I mean, and this, again, has got to be a Dude, crazy experience picture this. You. Okay, how old are you right now? 21. Exactly. Okay, so that's the, art, the age we were when we were doing Power Rangers, okay? Imagine somebody... 20 years from now, comes up to you and says, I loved that show you did on the radio in college. <laughs> Think about that, that for was just one crazy. second, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's what it feels like. Jason, thank you hey. so much for being on the air with us. Thanks we're gonna for having you, me. We're going to hit you guys back with some awesome rock and music on 89.3 FM, WHSN. Hail!